Welcome back to CSA Volleyball Season 8, hosted here at Sideliners Grill, presented by the Mercy of God. Get yourself into reconciliation now. I'm joined here by my partner, Ray Moneyman Montalvo. And this is Rich, Mad Dog Madrigal. And it is our pleasure to give you the game of the week here for CSA Season 8. Ray, how are you feeling about this matchup today? Ooh, I'm feeling good. You know, we have our uh, big, uh, what, what time is it? Big 6.30 p.m. kickoff. Prime time. Prime, Prime time, time, really. Man. Yeah, we have uh, the new kids on the block. I believe that's a reference to a 90s band. I don't yes, know. Yes, I think so. Yeah, having been born in 99, I really don't know. Do you, do you feel odd when people our age claim to be 90s kids? I feel like I'm a 90s. I feel like the 90s extended into the early 2000s. I think that's just time. <laughs> well, you know, I just think, you know, because we, we got a lot of 90s things. We do, we do. I'll give you that. You know, yeah. one, one thing I learned is that when you tell like a newer kid, hey, hold a phone up to your face, they go like this. Yeah, I, I saw that. That's I wild. saw that on TikTok because, you know, people our age, I'm 23, so is Ray. Yeah. Uh, you know, we just do this, you know, you're talking on the phone, you're doing your thing, you're talking to your grandma. I, I need to call my grandma personally. <laughs> same, um, same here. You know, and we're, and we're dialing up some big matches for you today. Exactly. So, like we said, New Kids on the Block is taking on Cobras. Ray, how do you feel about Cobras so far this season? Ah, uh, the Cobras, you know, they're number three in the wow. competitive rankings wow. right now. Two of one, but they've won seven sets, which, seven is, sets. which is tied for first. So, I say, you know, they might be an underdog, underdog just because they're ranked number three. They could be, they could be competing with Servers of Christ and the upsets. You know, I feel like Cobras are like those great Clemson teams that were like 12 and one. Oh yeah. And you know, they were ranked in the third seed of the college football playoff. Mm -hmm. And then they go and win the dang thing. They're beating Alabama, they're beating Georgia, and they want two natties, you know, to show for it. Now I want to know who they're named after. Are they Cobra Commander or are they like Cobra Kai? Or are they just, they just like snakes? You know, I will say right here on TV, y'all, I have never seen a single episode of Cobra Kai. That we need to change. Yes, we do. We have a conversation after this meeting. Yes, and now let's go through our lineups for this team. So coming off the new kids on the block, I'm going to call them the family team because I'm seeing lots of repeat last names. Oh, yeah? So we got Lauren and Edward Jackson. It is just now occurring to me that they could be married. I don't know. I really, really don't. They could be brother and sister or married. Or cousin. Or coincidentally. Oh, <laughs> we're just getting worried that they are married. <laughs> <laughs> which is a great family. Oh, no, that's so, very nice. We got Bethany and Evan Kasperwicz. Wits? That's, I, I, I believe that's how you say it. Oh, yeah. So, perfect. I have Polish cousins. Yes, you do. Tyler and Taylor Mangold. <laughs> um, mm. Solid. We got Alexa Delgado, Gabriel Ochoa, <laughs> Memo Ochoa, killing it at the World Cup. I know. Ah. Man, too bad they were sent home, you know, from the group stage. But you know what? He played his heart out. You know, he really did. Um, you know, San Memo. I don't know if he's Catholic, but he... If he was, I would say he'd be at least beatified or something. Hey, man, you know, Pope Francis, we just write some letters, you know, we get it going. That's all we do. Yeah. Contact your Pope today. Mark DeBolt, Nayeli DeBolt, uh, Brandon Jones, and then we got Zach Kirchin or Kirkin, not too sure, and Brittany Aragon. I will say Mark and Nayeli have a last name, DeBolt. It's, that just inspires speed. That's so good. It, it reminds me of Bolt the Dog from the Disney Channel original movie, Bolt. You know, uh, Miley Cyrus starred in that movie. Yeah, she, she was the t she was the little girl. Penny? Was that her Penny, name? Penny, I think. Penny, Penny. Okay. So yeah, that you was a good movie about real, you know, underdogs. Oh wait, no, that was underdog. Un oh yes, that was <laughs> solid movie as well. Solid movie. Um, I had that on Blu-ray and I lost it. You want to go through our uh, starting lineup for the Cobras, yes, Ray? Yes, let's go through the Cobras. All righty, Cobras. We have Daniel Robertson, um, very you know son of Robert. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> then we have Christina Adam. Or Adam. Adame. 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 Right? Oh, we have a reduced caster back home. His name was uh, Oscar Adame. So we do. Uh, shout out Oscar Adame, the absolute goat. They could, be, the, they could be related. I don't they know. could be. He's the absolute goat of RGV broadcasting. Pudo 956. Pudo 956. Go ahead. Sam Nichols and Joey Nichols. I feel like they're related in some capacity as well. Or married. Or married. We, we don't know these people. I mean, if they're married, aren't they related by marriage? Yes, that is a family. <laughs> We're asking the deep questions here, folks. <laughs> Claire Venditti, very cool Italian name. <laughs> Jonas Brand, I don't know, I, I saw Jonas Band, and I was like, the Jonas Brothers, those are pretty cool. Fantastic, they made it such a great comeback with Sucker in 2019. Like, such an amazing song. Yep, great, great band. Uh, Daniel Aguilar, uh, uh, Zachary Johnson, and Christine Venditti, another Venditti. Wow, perfect, wow. this is a true family-based team. So let's go through this matchup, right? Yep. Okay. So, they are obviously number, the Cobras are coming in number three in the rankings. Yes. And we got the new kids on the block at number seven in the rankings without a win this season. Without a win, they won two sets. Um, 
I'm not sure if those ten sets. Well, they have to be in separate games because if they would have won two sets in one game, they would have had a win. That's true. So that is true. I think the new kids on the block really have that dog in them. Oh yeah. And can really like show up, take the upset to the Cobras, and I mean really like what more can you ask for? You are asking for a matchup here that is about fight. It's about hearts. And it's about who wants it more at the end of the day. This could be a trap game for the Cobras. You know, overconfidence is definitely a thing. Uh, you know, our team, we're part of a team called the Sand Dogs Ooh. here. You know, we won our first game. We were pretty confident. And, yeah. you know, we haven't had so much success right lately. We are fighting for a playoff spot. <laughs> However, God has humbled us. And with hum humility comes success, I feel. You're gosh darn right. Yes. Sorry for my language. <laughs> So I think what helps the Cobras really, or I mean the new kids on the block, is, you know, all these like familial ties that they have, their communication must be insane. Elite. You know, I see you about three times a week because Ray yeah. is one of my best friends, you know. However, we don't live together. I don't see him every day. We nope. don't communicate like that. Nope. I think the new kids on the block really take that advantage and take it to the next level. Oh, for sure. You know? No, and uh, for sure, I'm sure we'll be able to see that as the game uh, starts off at 6.30. 6.30 tonight. So let's go through the rest of our games. Mm -hmm. We also have tonight... Um, also at 6.30, the Tuscan Raiders versus the 12th Man. Ray, what do you got to say about the 12th Man? The 12th Man, oh, they were a tough opponent. We, the Sand Dogs, faced them last week. Yep. Very elite squad. Uh, one of their members, I don't know his name, was very good against us and yeah. proceeded to beat us into the sand. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel they were pretty good. You know, A&M's, I've got to give, give credit to the Aggies. I, you know, I can't as a UT alumni. Uh, so are you, by the way. Hey, you know um, what? I'm feeling charitable today. Hook them horns, horns and that will never change. Um, their opponents, the Tuscan Raiders, how are they going to come back after Anakin Skywalker absolutely decimated them in Episode 2, Attack of the Clones? See, that's a good question, Rich. You know, I feel like their leader, Ethan, he's very, very tall. He's very, uh, very good with uh, on the pitch. Yeah. Is that a pitch? I, we're calling it a pitch. We're calling it a pitch. We like soccer. He likes soccer. Our second game, or our third game, is uh, at 7.15 on the JP2 court. We have the Servers of Christ versus the Upsets. And i got to ask about the Upsets. At what point do they become the favorites? They're the number two team in, <clears throat> in the competitive league. And are you telling me they're the upsets? No, those are the favorites, okay? We got to reestablish, reevaluate where these guys are coming from. I think they make the other teams upset. I think that may be, it's a transformational name. It applies to every situation. And that is creativity. And creativity. They're, they're taking on arguably another game of the week in the Servers of Christ, who are number one in the competitive league. We didn't get the rights to that. ABC did. Um, so, you know. You know. <laughs> but this is a great game. This, Yeah, no, great game. One versus two. And, uh, yeah, we'll see who comes out on top afterwards. Who goes? Who gets the advantage going into a week? What week are we? We are week four. Week four. It is the last week before playoffs, so this Ooh, is crunch time. Very critical. In our other 7-15 game, we have the Serviums versus the Ultra Servers. The Serviums, obviously a wonderful name. They are actually serving because, you know, Servium in some conjugation of Latin means to serve, and they are doing the thing, being number one in the social league. Oh, yeah, for sure. And you know what? 3-0 with six sets, one. I think, you know, it's very impressive to go undefeated, you know, especially. Of, of course. Uh, especially, you know, three weeks in, they're undefeated, six sets, one. Uh, they are pulling out these close games, and I think that could be the difference today. Oh, yeah, for sure. They are playing the altar servers. Ray, were you ever an altar server? I was not an altar server. Wow. So I was. And I, I got to tell you guys, um, being one of the older male altar servers, and every time we would pray for vocations and just having the whole church like just staring at me, that was some pressure. You know, obviously prayers for vocations. You know, there's always time, Rich. There is always time. There's always time. <laughs> and now for our 8 p.m. matchup, we have Serves Up. Versus Charlotte's Angels. Charlotte's Angels. I think Charlotte's Angels really did something bold there by elongating Charlie. Oh, yeah. You know, they went to Charlotte. For sure. Because Charlie could be a guy, as in the movie, or Charlotte. I know I know, I know, know a Charlie uh, back home. Uh, you know, she's a great kid, I think. She's like six. Um, we got Surf's, Serves Up. Is that a reference to that movie, Surf's Up with the Penguins? Oh, I love that movie. You know, they did a, a, a WWE-themed Surf's Up movie with The Undertaker and John Cena. It went direct to video, and, you know, it was not good. But it's funny. Is it is it on streaming? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, let's find out. Uh, we'll Can find we have out the producers find that out? Thank we'll, you. We'll, we'll get that. We'll come back. In our, AP, in our other APM matchup, we have Sake y Remate. That's such a fun name. Taking on Good Volley Miss Molly. Ooh, that's also a fun name. Now, good, good Volley Miss Molly is dead last in uh, the competitive league at the moment. <laughs> However, they're 0, they may be 0-3. They did win a set 
I feel like they're the underdogs. They are the underdogs here, but I think Saki Damate has had a very good season. Um, you know, I feel like Saki Damate had a lot of roster turnover, you know. I think so. Um, so I think we got to, you know, take that into account. But, you know, both solid names. Um, and honestly, this could go either way. It's a toss-up. Yep, for sure. And then we have at 845, the Valero Liberos versus the Spike Spike Babies. Is the Valero Liberos a reference to San Antonio and the Valero Oil Company being based here? I, mean, I, I don't know. I just I would assume so because I don't know where else Valero exists. I mean, yeah, honestly, a truly Texas treasure. You know, the funniest thing about Valero to me yes. is my dad will um, be like, oh, I used to see 76 gas stations all over back in the 70s, right? You mm -hmm. know, because my dad's old. <laughs> um, 56. He actually recently celebrated a birthday. Please send prayers his way. Um, so I don't know, like, in the future, am I going to be like, oh, yeah, there was Valeros everywhere back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't know. I always talk about the Laredo Taco Company. Yes. And those tacos, delicious. If you're from the Valley, you know what I'm talking the about. The Laredo Taco Company single-handedly got me through public school. Yes. Single-handedly. Every morning. And so Valero Liberos are taking on Spike Spike Babies. Ray, what do you got to say about Spike Spike? They're currently eighth right now in the competitive league. And I got to say, they, the competitive league is very competitive. And, you know, it's not... <laughs> It's not, you know, uh, not easy. So, you know, uh, you know, they're having a tough time at the moment. However, confidence. You know, they could, uh, their opponent here, the Valero Liberos, may be overconfident. And that's when you see, it's all about mindset. It's mindsets. Mindsets. Ooh, right. That's a yeah, pun. mindsets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and <laughs> the thing with Spike Spike Babies is they're named after the hit song, Ice, 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 Ice Baby, which actually played uh, today at my job, um, at which point my manager said, hey, Rich, what are we doing? Like, why are we playing this? And, you know, after that, I put some Tupac on, uh, put some Biggie, um, you know. Are, did you, are you not a fan of the Frosted Tips? I, you know, the Frosted Tips had their day. And I don't think it's that, that time anymore. I think the league has moved on. You know, um, you know mullets are making a comeback? I say Frosted Tips make a comeback. You know, buddy, I don't think that's going to happen. My brother, my, both of my brothers actually have pulled off a mullet uh, within the past six months. And they're younger than me. They're in high school. They're really cool. Um, and so it just makes me wonder, can I pull off the mullet? Because I've been rocking this little fade, you know, for a hot minute. I don't know. I think you can. Yeah. Who's, who says no? Right? Who, who says, says no? no. Yep. And then we have our matchup tonight between How I Set Your Mother and The Sand Dogs. Woo! So, How I Set Your Mother, obviously a great pun on How I Met Your Mother. You know, the hit TV show on NBC? I Fox? Think. CBS? See, I don't know. FX? CPS site. No. Re replays are on FX. We'll get the producers to check on that. We will. So, How I Set Your Mother, obviously How I Met Your Mother. A very disappointing show. Yeah, no, the last season just really fell off. I, you know, uh, you set some expectations and you try to subvert them. It's, it, sometimes the simplest answer is the best answer. That, that's very true, Ray. I'm just not a fan of the character of Robin, especially ending up with Ted. I'm not a fan of Ted either, I, I must you know, say. You know, uh, you know, I think it's because she's Canadian. <laughs> Nothing against Canadians. They're just very nice people. But they have, the, you know, the accent thing. Oh my gosh! You know, I hope I hope we have not offended any Canadians. Here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I think the Sand Logs. We have some special insight into them as we are members. And you know, I were, uh, we're we got word earlier that one of our best players, Morgan, she is currently in uh, weather delay she from, is. from the airport. So uh, I don't know. How do we come back from this? You know, I think, you know, with the Sand Dogs, uh, we got to go back to the reason why we actually picked that name. It's because last season, as we were the Baller Buddies, um, I just constantly said the phrase, he got that dog in him. And we do have that dog in us. So now we are the Sand Dogs, you know, playing on this sand. It's great. It's amazing. And I really got to say that I think we have such a, you know, unique collection of talent that any one of us can really step in to, uh, you know, Morgan's spot. She's our starting server. I think Ray might be stepping into that spot. So how do you feel about that, bud? I feel already. It's, you know, it's a bit tense, you know. Yeah. You gotta, I gotta get, get some reps in, but I think we'll be good. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Overall, how do you feel? Do you think it's going to be a good match day today? I, I think this is one of the best sets of games that we could have possibly prepared for. Oh, yeah. And I think we're going to have a great time today. So, thank you so much for joining us. Again, I'm Rich Mad Dog Madrigal. I'm Ray Money Man Montalvo. And we're coming to you live from Sideliners Grill, and we'll be right back with the game of the week. And we are back with our game of the week. Looks like we have uh, the new kids on the block taking on the Cobras. Looks like uh, 
new kids will be serving first. And look at that, a child on the court, absolutely adorable. Oh yeah, we love children here. We do. We really, really do. So yep. let's go to our starting lineup for the new kids on the block. We got Edward Jackson. Uh, I forgot the rest of the names. I'll learn it as we go through. And the first serve. And Ooh, it's a bit short. And a bit short. And the first point goes to the Cobras. Cobras. And now who, Cobras. Who we have serving up? We have, um, let's see, we have Zachary Johnson serving yep. it up right now. Son of John. Son of John. And the serve. An overhand serve. And it's over. And it's up. And it's over. Ooh, Ooh. hits the net. Back. Oh, Ooh, set, solid. Set up. And is he going to get it over? Oh, oh ah! wait, it's still alive. A fight to the end, an absolute fight to the end. Fight to the end. Daniel Aguilar with, you know, getting up from the court right now. Absolute dog in him. Got the dog in him. Now we got uh, Tyler Mangold serving for New Kids on the Block. It and here's the serve. Currently one to one. And Daniel with the return. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Back over. There you go, and Daniel. And it just gets over. Ooh, Daniel with the points. This back and forth battle continues with a Cobra taking the third point of the set. Cobra's 2-1. Oh, some smack talk coming between these teams. I don't, I don't know how to navigate this. I don't know. This is Catholic, my friends. Getting saucy. And a solid underhand serve. Oh, and a dig. And oh, it's, out. it's outside. By Edward Jackson. What a, you know, he put that effort in, but it just happened to go outside. You know, he does have that dog in him, and I, I can respect that. So it looks like the Cobras are looking to establish control at this point. They have a two-point lead. We got Christine with her second serve. Underhand? Ooh, it's a bit short. We shouldn't say their names as they're serving. We're very sorry. <laughs> you <know>. We're sorry. <laughs> Ooh, a little Ooh. bit short. But it's all right. Short. So we got the Cobras with a 42 lead. A 42 lead? 422. Two <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I'll take that. And the serve. Jonas Brand. And... Oh, it's outside. Oh, that was close. I would have played that as in, I got to say. You know, great awareness by the Cobras here, being very observant. Um, now we got Jonas with another serve. Ooh, inside. We got one set up. Oh, and it goes out four! Edward Jackson <laughs> with the return. However, it did not get inside the court. However, Ethan was the one who played that ball, but he's not playing in this game. Oh, no. He's an outsider. But it's Huskin Raiders. Jonas with another serve. Stop saying their names. <laughs> I'll get better. Okay, we got a good solid. Ball here. Oh, Cobra. Jonas with the back. Oh, Ooh, a solid play. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, this is a great ball. Oh, oh goodness outside. gracious! Outside. That ball needed to pray to St. Anthony to find the inside of the court. You know, <laughs> mark the ball with a great return. But that is that guy, not the server. We got Jonas with his third serve. Solid serve. And oh! Justin! That was oh! inside. What a he said his prayers. He went to mass. He found the line. What a, what a beautiful game. That just shows you the years of experience that this fellow has. <laughs> and now the serve. Overhand serve. And the return. And Nayeli gets it over. Oh, solid. Oh. 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 oh, no, they're back. Oh, and that was a solid dig. And Jackson. Jackson again. To the bolt. The bolt. Johnson. Robertson. Robertson. The bolt. Mangled. Jonas. Oh, oh so what close. What a beautiful volley. An absolute. That's why they call this volleyball. This is why we have the game of the week, people. <laughs> Currently 9-2, to two, Cobras in favor. Oh, and the ref is taking his time to speak to the competitors. Ooh, might have some rules violations here. Some Make rules some violations. Clarifications. Yeah, we've had some some uh, difficulties on our team with that. Yeah, you know, I, I I feel like we should refer, you know, some of these refs. Not all these refs. Some, you know, new eye doctors. But, you know, that's just <laughs> Not this ref here. We love this ref. I, I, you know, I just think, right, you're just too strong. And there's oh, a ball, ball in the court. court. Oh, wait. A, oh, and we're, we're we play continuing on. play. We play on. And Robinson. Robertson, the energy. Ooh. <gasps> that was cool. Wait. Objectively. Oh, another point for the Cobras. That was cool. The Cobras have re really taken control of this game. They're up now up 10 to 2. 10 to 2? You know. And the serve. Jonas is like fifth serve in a row or something? I like don't it? know. I can't count that high. Me neither. And we were educated by the Valley Public School System. 
Bro, you went to a magnet school. I don't know what you're that talking about. That was the high school. I went to public elementary. <laughs> That's very true. So right now, looks like... Oh, we got the new kids on the block serving. We got Gabe. A good reprieve. And Gabe with a solid Daniel serve. Robertson with the set. Oh. Now that oh. Ooh. was so cool. Daniel Robertson. Wow. The man. The myth. The, the legend. legend. <laughs> I think they're getting annoyed of our commentary. <laughs> They'll have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we got Claire Van Dijk. And with the serve. With the serve. A solid underhand serve. Ooh, Finds the net. A bit too short, but it's all right. A bit too short. And now an 11-4 lead for the Cobras, who now have uh, Mr. Evan Kasperwitz. Oh, scratch that. Nayeli DeBolt. Ooh, Nayeli DeBolt. The former Texas A&M commit. The sleeper pick of this past draft. Yeah. Absolute killer. And Gabe with the return. Yes, sir. Ooh. And okay, okay. And Mr. DeBolt. Ooh, we got Danny Robertson again. Ooh, overhead. Oh, is that out? Ooh, that was that out? I don't think that was out. I don't think so either. We got Jonas with the set. We got Daniel Robertson. with another. Oh, it was oh. over. It was a fake out. And Daniel. Oh! oh. It's a play. Oh! Oh my <laughs> gosh! Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> this is what legends are made of! <laughs> this is why we play the game. This is the beauty of volleyball here. <laughs> this is why volleyball is the beautiful game. Oh, that's that ambulance is for my heart attack. And the return. return. And Robertson once that's again. That. And a set up! Oh, Ooh, it touches the net. And Just if he can get it over, he got Ooh, it over. Game. And Daniel Robinson. Yeah. Two. No, two. Oh! Oh! Let's go, Zachary Johnson. Son exactly. of John. <laughs> Son of John. I wonder if he's named after John the Baptist or John, John the Apostle. Or John the Apostle. Could you go or John the Lesser. There's a John the Lesser. Yeah, that is true. That is John true. the Greater? No. Wait, that's. That would just be regular. That's John. just regular John. We got Daniel Ali Aguilar. And with, the and with the return. And all right, Mr. DeBolt. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Did that cost his team? I, uh, you know what? He had the right idea. He it did. It just, the, not a lot of forward motion. It looked darn cool, I'll tell you that. You know what? We give style points here. Why not? Yeah, Evan Kasperowitz. And just Ooh, over the net. Graces the net. One of the Van Dijk sisters. Oh, Van? is that it? Oh, that was just out. That was out. You know, we don't have the great, greatest vantage point, but you know what? I could have called that in. Yeah, you know what? I'm glad I'm not a ref. No, nope. big K over here. Yeah. There you go. And, ooh, ooh oh, tough. Little hey. missed timing, but you know what? You know. Zachary Johnson, we salute you. Yeah, Daniel Robertson is out of the game now because of rotation. Out of the game. How is that going to affect the Cobras? Who knows? I don't know. 12 to 8 is the score and the serve. And the, ooh, ooh a little miscommunication that was there, but you know what? Such a solid serve that you're not sure where that ball's gonna go. Exactly. And now Mr. K, big K. And got Jonas, Jonas with a return. Oh. There we go. Yeah, oh, over the block. They've adapted. Oh! Oh, Zachary. goodness gracious, holy Toledo. Johnson, son of John. Wow. What a beautiful return. Now who we got serving up here? We have Matt. <laughs> we have Madison serving. Ooh. And that's an ace. That wow. was a beautiful serve. Does she play cards? Because that was an ace, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Works good. I mean, I don't and now for the second know, serve yeah. of her tenure. And the serve. Underhand serve. And DeBolt doing a great job Ooh. of calling it. A lot of setting. And to Mangold! Ooh! Mangold! A solid dig, that I will was... say. But that spike just had too much power. That was too much power. Sometimes you just can't get in, get to it in time. I've had the same difficulty at times with these very powerful players on the other side of the court. People be strong. People be strong. And that, oh, Ooh, a bit unlucky. Too short, but you know unlucky what? to not go over the net. I think we all get one. Yeah, you know, we all do get we one. We all get one. And then we got Daniel Robertson, arguably no, no. the MVP. Daniel Aguilar. This is Daniel Robertson. Oh, wait, that is Daniel Robertson. My bad. How can I be so... Such a solid serve. Such unobservant. Wow. Wow, beautiful serve. Very solid touch serve. A grace. It's like French cuisine. It's very... What's your favorite French food, bro? Uh, I don't know. I think French fries are very nice. <laughs> French fries Ooh. are solid. You ever, had a, you ever had snails? I actually have. They kind of taste like meatballs. You know... 
everyone's like, ew, snails, but I just like dunked them in garlic butter and Not all I bad. tasted was the garlic butter. And oh, that's it. That was inside the line. Wow, Nick Castellanos. <laughs> 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 so yeah, no, French food is great. And we have a, a guest here on the commentator booth. Sir, how are you doing today? How are you doing? How's, how's your game going? Pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Are you, are you repping? I am repping. Oh, yeah. nice, oh, nice. Up, man? <laughs> oh, 12th man. That's 12th right. man, yeah. What's your name, man? I'm Brian. Brian. Brian, how are you doing today? Doing pretty good. How about you? Yeah. Good. good show. Solid Monday? Yeah, solid Monday. Exciting you know. game over here? Yeah, Daniel, an extremely solid game. Daniel Robinson, another serve. And, and oh, ooh, just over. Oh, Massive with a return. Beautiful set. Jonas. Jonas. And there we go. And Mangold. Oh, what a Mang spike. Oh, and there the ball comes towards us. Goodness gracious. We got an unprovoked attack on the commentators. From wow. The Tuscan. No, wait, no. The other team. <laughs> from the 12th man. The it's because we man. went to UT. Yeah, Hook'em Horns. Hook'em Horns. Sponsored by... St. David's Healthcare? <laughs> yes. And the Holy Spirit. Do you have all seven gifts? <laughs> Consult your priest today. <laughs> and the serve. Ooh, Ooh beautiful set by Madison. Jonas. Jonas. Ooh. Okay. Is it in? Okay. Oh! oh! It touched the line. That means wow. it's in. It is in like us in heaven if we repent and love Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. You know, it's 19 to 12 right now. You know what? Oh! I, I don't know. Wait, was that? I was out. They, they called it out. We're calling it out. 20 to 12. You know, Rich, that I've seen many comebacks in my time. An eight-point comeback. Do you think they can do it? 100%. I think that can happen. The new... The I'm not gonna lie, we weren't paying attention. We weren't paying. <laughs> we were too busy commentating. <laughs> they asked us if the ball was out or in. I, I really don't want to affect the outcome of this game. Me neither. I feel bad. <laughs> yeah. And we got Brennan. Look at her. Is this the game point? Oh no! Oh, my goodness gracious! Brenna Ice. with the killer win point set match. match. Uh, yes. Not match. Not match because we still have more. We match have to more play. match to go. The set. But they, wow. So the a, first set. A dominant set. The first set goes to the Cobras, 21-12. Now we're switching sides. Ray, what are your takeaways from this? From this uh... Takeaways? I think the Cobras just, I think, you know what? Uh, they had some great serves. They got them some rolls. I know Jonas, very good server. A solid uh, server. You know, and Daniel Robertson, very a menace on the court and off the court. No, that's, that's big facts. And now we're going to have a live uh, interview with Mr. Gabriel Ochoa. Oh, I think he's walking away. He is walking away. We are not going to have our live interview with a player. It's okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm used to rejection. It's okay. I let's see. I do see our teammate Kaylee Cowell, another former Texas A&M commit, and looks like she's wearing a shirt that says "We Own Bama." I don't think A&M owns Bama. I really don't think so. I mean, that was like one time. That was like one time. Okay, apparently twice, twice. in the past ten years. Ooh. Ooh, like, okay, win ten wins. Am I right? You know. So, you know, we're sorry if we offend any AM viewers. But I'm not. I'm really not. This is Richard Richard Alexander Madrigal saying that I do not care if I offend any Texas AM Aggies because hook them horns every day <laughs> for the rest of my life. Amen. Texas is back always. It's the meme. We love the meme. So, yeah, hook them horns. Um, if any priest went to AM, like, God bless you, but hook them horns. Yes. Yeah, shout out the University Catholic Center where Ray and I met. Oh, yes. Um, you know, and now uh, great we're, time. we're starting up the second set here. Can the Cobras finish it in two sets or will they have to go to a third? We have Brenna here with and a solid serve a solid to serve. upper left court. Oh! Ooh. And remind you, this second set is brought to you by God the Father. Find out how you can meet God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Well, you know, not meet them today because that would. You well, know. They're, with, they're with us every day. That is true. Oh, another solid serve. Ooh, another Ooh. Solid serve. Oh, oh. You know, Jackson. Great awareness by Jackson there. Um, but, you know, sometimes you can't just twist your body like that. It's very yeah. hard. Putting in the absolute work. Well, you know, I think he got that dog in him. He does have that dog in him. Brandon with another serve. A killer. Oh, oh. oh that was amazing dig. Is that in? That's that was one. in. The wow. decision. Wow, Mr. DeBolt with the lightning quick reflexes. Oh, they're calling it out. I don't oh, think I, I don't okay. think I agree with this call, but you know what? It's all I, right. I'm just here to call the game. Cobra's up 3-0. And we have Mr. DeBolt. DeBolt. Oh, big K. Madison with the with the set. Aguilar, Ooh. solid dig. Oh, 
just as loud. Ooh, another set. Wow, Beautiful this set. is so good. Edward Jackson. Ooh, ooh, out! out! That was out. out! Who let the dogs out? Not me. Goodness gracious. Mr. DeBolt putting in an MVP performance in that beanie. You know what? We made him laugh. <laughs> we got new kids on the block with the serve. Ooh. And oh, they're, they're hugging the line. There we go. Beautiful set. Ooh, Another and... set. Oh, wait, no, it's oh, over. Wow. I can't see from here. Another and... beautiful set. Oh, Mr. Misjudge, Jackson. Misjudged timing. Oh. It happens to the best of us. Goodness gracious. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. Yep. <laughs> and now we have someone else. I don't know. I can't see. We have. Uh, oh, how did he get to that? Amazing effort from Mr. Mark DeBolt. I think he has that dog in him. He absolutely has that dog in him. And we have Zachary Johnson here with his second serve. Ooh, and that's a bit short. You know, oh, that's four. Ha happened to me a couple times. We have a volleyball flying at us here. <laughs> um, that's from the other game between uh, the Tuscan Raiders and the 12th man, Hook'em Horns. Hook'em Horns. Go. Just over. Oh. They got Kersher here. Uh, what? Where's the illegal touch? Oh, uh, did she lift it? I, I don't agree with this call. Is this lifting? Oh. Our, our, our uh, producers are pointing at a child playing in the sand. The okay, it's the ball. It's the ball. Madison. And Daniel. And there we go. And ooh. Oh, oh was that over? a collision. Oh, oh, and that's oh, four touches. That's all right. You know, you really love to see the effort here. Um, I think, you know, just solid little bit more communication. They got this. They got five to three. They're only down two. They are only down two. This. And the uh, serve. Ooh. Wow. An that absolute a, ace. That was a heck she of a plays serve. cards because she just pulled an ace. Oh. I like that. Was that Christina? I think, yes, that was Christina. Christina Adami. And boom. With an, ooh. That's a lot of sauce. Oh, was that out? I thought it was out, but you know what? They played it. Oh. Ooh, beautiful turn. And the bolt. The bolt. Madison. We got Kirscher. Kirchen, sorry. Oh, oh, a solid, you know. Very solid play by New Kids on the Block. I the New say. Kids on the Block are playing with so much sauce, I would argue it's cane sauce. Yep, cane sauce, baby. You know, Rich, if you could have one sauce come out of your belly button, <laughs> what would it be? <laughs> I would say cane sauce. I think it's applicable to chicken, to fries. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful return. <laughs> oh, the new kid's on the block with a point. Another point. Rich, are you okay? Um, I still haven't gotten your answer. What sauce would you have? The readers, or the listeners want to know. Does uh, the salsa count? It, it does mean, ooh, okay. Mr. Sammy, but it's okay. Yeah. By, Mr. By the DeBolts. Um, <laughs> you know, salsa means sauce in English. So does it count? Yeah, for the sake of this argument, let's say no. We'll say no. We'll, we'll, say, we'll say no. We'll say like a standard condiment. Okay, I guess I gotta go with ranch. Ooh, um, okay. Is that a little bit more bougie? Cause like lots of places charge extra for that ranch. That is true. But you know what, I'm gonna take it. Ranch has done really good like in this season. They really got me through the fall, and I think they're a number one draft pick next year. Kirchin with the return, I definitely feel you. And ooh, ooh Madison solid. With the bump. Oh, ooh. there we go. And the bolt. The bolt. Ooh, what a beautiful set and return. Uh, oh, there we go. Interesting. And a set. Oh, the bolt. The bolt. Ooh, ooh the bolt with the ooh uh, the other. <laughs> Oh, unlucky to be out, unlucky, really. Unlucky, but you know. know what? I saw beautiful communication and teamwork. And I love that. There's a dog over there. Oh, that's is a that, cute little Is dog. that a poodle? No, well, maybe, actually. Maybe a short poodle. Oh. oh, a return goes into the other team. <laughs> and for the second time, we've almost hit Ethan on the Tuscan Raiders. You know what? Ethan's a tough guy. He can take it. He can take it. Now, what kind of dog is that? Is that a miniature poodle? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't have my... Uh, my certification in dog ball to know that. That's true. Yes. It's over. Oh, oh, oh. The net just was a little too high. DeBolt acting like the lightning over there he, to absolutely I, get to that. You ball. know what? He missed, but I still say he's the goat. I love the effort. The effort. This, oh. oh my god! <laughs> 
Rich, how was it to have your life flash before your very eyes? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the ball came at us, by the way, for no one that saw that. Yeah. Ooh, was that out or in? I would say, you know what? I do not want to affect the outcome of this match. I hope they don't ask us. Me neither. You know what? With South Korea's goal, beautiful goal the other day, I don't know what is out of bounds anymore. Oh, was it, was it in Japan? Was, I thought it was South Korea. It, it was Japan. It what? was Japan. We do. Uh, they all have beautiful jerseys, so, know. you know. South um, Korea, unfortunate game today, got thrashed by Brazil. Did we expect anything different? Um, Not really. I will Ooh. say, though, a big shout out to Sonaldo. Sonaldo. Kung Min Sonaldo. I love that, man. Absolutely, you know, taking control of South Korea and uh, their number nine, a fantastic player. And, you know. You know, him with the mask is like hoodie with a mellow. Yeah. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> mellow with the hoodie. But I think either way works. Facts and that Ooh, ball is out. out. Okay, new kids on the block with seven points to Cobra's 13. They, Six points. It's really not a lot. They got that dog in them. You know what? I think they can do it. The new kids can do it. These new kids are going to show that they own this block. Oh, yes. With the serve. With the serve. A monster of a serve, and we that, uh, are we going to get wait. over it? And, and, ooh. Is that four touches? I think so. That was a solid, messy like move. Very, you know, I got to give props. I, I got to give props. Yeah, that's Zachary Messi to you. Zachary Messi. Ooh, beautiful underhand serve by Mr. Bolt. Ooh. Mrs. Mr. Bolt. Mrs. Mr. Bolt. Ooh, beautiful return. Oh! That was he said his prayers, he went to mass, and he found the court. Yes. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Just beautiful. 14 to 8 now the score. Who do we got serving here? We got Miss uh, Christine Venditti again. And the serve. You know, I really like her socks. I like superhero socks. You know, I can do nothing but Ooh. agree. We got Brenna with, okay. Ooh. Oh my Kirchin. goodness gracious! Zach Kirchin, baby! Holy Toledo! You say that? My uncle says that. <laughs> I have just been told that I say an old man phrase. Is he old? No, well, he's, he's in his 50s. Yeah. He's in his 50s. We can say some new phrases so we can, you know, average it out. G, G. Willikers, uh, that one's popular with the kids. Shenanigans? Shenanigans. Oh! That's a good one. I, that doesn't sound like a word. Which one? Caddy Wampus. It's Caddy Wampus. Like, yeah, I've heard of Caddy Wampus. It is a phrase. Okay. I'll give it to him. Point I'm taken. Gonna you know what? I'm going to switch over to my Spanish mode. Uh, you know, have y'all watched the World Cup in Spanish? So much better. Del Mundo. It's, oh. You know, it's free to stream on Peacock. That's why I watch it. And I, well, it's not free to stream on Peacock because well, you pay for Peacock. I already have the Peacock. True. Yes. Okay. And now we have um, Daniel Aguilar con el servicio. Ooh, what a saucy e Oh, Dios santo Ooh. de mi vida. In Todos somos bien. Todos somos bien. Gracias a Dios. All right. Otra vez con... Uh, Las Cobras, con el servicio. Aquí andamos con Daniel Aguilar. El servicio. Oh! Y otra vez se, va la, se vaya para el otro juego. ¿Puedes hablar español, Ray? No. Ah, pues está bueno. Ya, ya empezaste, mijo. No te preocupes. Hey, you know what? Uh, necesito mi, uh, pr practicar mi español. Practic practic oh, Dios santo! I got the ball. There we go. First time I'm touching the ball today. <laughs> but it will not be the last as we have a game later. Oh, yes. Yeah. Stay tuned. I, wait, no. I don't think we have the rights to that one. Either. We don't. Okay. And Ooh, Ooh. a little bit short, but you know what's all right. Here we go, 19 to 10. I bet. Ya me los iba a cruzar la net. No sé la palabra para net en español. Pero aquí andamos con una de las Veneditis sisters. <laughs> 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 Santo. Oh, that's a beautiful a, ball. A un set. Ooh. Otra vez. Ay, oh, Dios. What, a, what a block. A otra vez. Oh. oh. Zach Ay. Kirchen with the hit. Y se le pegó en sus piernas. And he's taking a walk. Wow. Y ya, aquí andamos con Evan Kasperowitz. Con su. Caspi. Oh. oh. Caspi con el servicio muy bonito. Yes, beautiful serve. Oh, thanks, appreciate it. Oh, you're talking about that. <laughs> no, Ochoa, tú eres el amor de mi vida, papá, no te preocupes. I don't, I understand.
No, está, está bien, está bien. Sí. Oh, oh está fuera del corte. Uh, new kids, let me see. Okay, 19 to 13, new, uh, new kids on the block behind here. You know what? I think they got that down in them. Sí, tienen ese, ese pelo adentro. Can we, can we switch back to non-SAP? <laughs> Otro it. hace Caffrey. Y no más quiero decir que Gabriel Ochoa me da me, eh, cuando veo a él yo pienso en Memo Ochoa uh, el héroe de la selección mexicano. Okay, I, here we back, are I, back I, to I, English. I know, I know what you're saying. I just I I can't speak it back. It's okay. And another solid serve. Beautiful serve. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Absolute team effort with Evan, Mr. Mangold. Beautiful serve. Oh my goodness. Back and forth. Oh my gosh! What a beautiful. He got that dog in him. Caspi. Mangold. Mangold. Oh, a collision. McClay, Ochoa. Ochoa. Sending it back. Ochoa. And it's. Oh! oh! No! This is game point for the Cobras. Who's but, gonna, who's serving it up? Ochoa has hands like his cousin Memo. We got Zachary Johnson. Wait. No, no. I, don't, I don't know. Because there's two. We got Daniel Robertson. Oh, yes, he's, his green hat is covered. Yeah, that is true. And a serve. And there we go. Oh, my gosh. Kristen. Yeah. Is that game point? Was, oh, wait. That was game point. The Cobras have done it again. Two in a row. The Cobras have improved to three and one on the season. Now we got to see, will they get this sweep? I don't know. You know, much like the Astros, you know, we, I think a lot of people want to see a sweep. But you know what? I like to see some competitiveness. I want to see the new kids come back. Make it two to one. I, I, I just want to say on this other game over here, Kristen just had a killer serve that scared me. <laughs> and I think New Kids on the Block, they've been playing so well today that I, I, Look, can, I can do they, nothing but respect they them. They have a child. They have a child. God bless God America. Bless children everywhere. God bless America. <laughs> God darn bless right. America. God bless San Antonio. God bless the Spurs. Although I don't want the Spurs to win. Because we're tanking for we're, Wendy. We're tanking for Victor Wembanyama. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just, you know, every time I hear about the Spurs winning, I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Well, they haven't been winning, so I think you're being very, you know, it's, it's very going well for you right now. Well, the start of the uh, season was terrible because they would win at home and lose on the road. I mean, they would lose at home and win on the road because if you're going to win during a tanking season, win at home. I know, right? Give the fans what they're paying to see. Yeah. Shout out to my company, um, which I feel like I should not name because, it, you know, they're probably going to get weird about it. They gave me free Spurs tickets and you Ooh. came with me. That was that was a great game. Yeah. That was uh, we saw Manu Ginobili, who is Rich's biological father. <laughs> you may you may not be able to see it, but it's true. For legal purposes, that is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want this to air. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought we were live. <laughs> I no, there's a tape delay. Okay, okay. All right. Well, All right. we have we have the Cobras here. Um, you know, looking to make a clean sweep. Uh, who's up? Oh no, who's serving? Oh, What's we got up? the we got new, new kids serving. Nayeli DeBolt. DeBolt, the, the legends. The former Texas A&M star. All right, help each other out. Let's go. Yeah. Rich, what are the key? You know, what what do each, what does each team need to do to survive this last set? I think what they need to do is start really planning planning their holiday schedules. Like, where are they going to be for Christmas? Where are they going to be for New Year's? Do you spend that one? Do you spend like do you use two days for that? To, like, because like me personally. I spend New Year's Eve with my dad's family and New Year's Day with my mom's. Ooh, oh, and, what ooh. a heck of a spike! Wow, absolutely amazing. I was it Mangold, the maroon yeah. fellow, absolute dog. Tyler Mangold, what the what a guy, what a guy. Um, and then like same thing for Christmas. I spend Christmas Eve with my dad's family and uh, Christmas Day with my mom's. So I think. I think everyone on this team really has to start looking at that. Like, it's logistics. I work in logistics, and you know, it's a difficult yeah. thing to do. Ooh. Oh my goodness! What a beautiful return by Jonas. And it's. Oh! Tyler Mango! <laughs> the man! The, the man! Man! The legend! <laughs> I think we're getting to be too much. <laughs> I haven't even started drinking yet. <laughs> And DeBolt with the, another serve. Ooh, it's a, ooh, it's a, ooh, just out. Just out. You know a what? solid point for new kids on the block. Beautiful three score run right there. Really, three it really was. Right and here we have. We have Daniel Robertson. Son of Robert. Son of Robert. 
He's, you know, oh. he has his hoodie on. He has his hood on. Is he hoodie mellow? Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Wow! That was Such a, a solid serve solid from serve. New Kids on the Block. He may be him. <laughs> Is he Himothy? Is, Is he Himothy Chalamet? I don't know. Is he... Wait, no, I was going to say, is he dating Zendaya? But that's Tom Holland. No, oh, that is Tom Holland. Unfortunately, he is dating Zendaya. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are rumors they are getting married. Yeah. But you know what? We live another day. Yes, we do. Three all in this... Uh... Ooh. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! That you know was what? fantastic effort. Great effort by Christine, uh, by Jonas, and uh, by Christina. I have just now realized that I have been calling the Cobras new kids on the block. Wait. I'm a little confused. Ooh. Aren't we all? Oh! oh! A solid point for Cobras with an amazing dig from Daniel Aguilar. Now we have Madison here with another serve. Here we go. Underhand and serve. serve. Ooh, beautiful serve. And Ooh, beautiful return by the Devolt. Oh, it's a set. Another Devolt. Ooh. You're okay, fam. We just had an audience member say she does not want to get in the video. I just want to make clear, everyone is welcome. Even though we're not in this video right now. We were we were there earlier. We had the pregame show. It's fine. We got Madison again and then a serve. They've come, the Cobras have come back. They're not, it's not four to five. Oh, a solid dig. Beautiful. Oh, we got right, Christine. We go. Ooh, we got the bolt. A double bolt again. Ooh. Ooh. We got Clay. Oh, oh, unfortunate there. Are we good? Yeah, yeah. no. Danielle, he's not getting up. Oh, and, and he's good. Let's he's good. Woo! Round of applause there. Shout out to the Cobras. They've been playing with so much heart. I love it. Heart, passion, grit, strength, strength, confidence, and humility. And Jonas. Oh. There we oh. go. Ooh. Oh. You know, you can't really fault that. Mark the bolt. I think the ball was not as high as it should have been. Or no. as it could have been. He, he's been playing at a man of the match level, and I think we need to acknowledge that. Oh. All right, and now I forgot his name. Boom. Left-handed serve. Oh. Ow. Oh, just unlucky to be out. You know what? I think the Cobras are like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They cannot stop. Can't stop addicted to, to the, the shindig. shindig. I okay. don't know the rest of the words. I just I just mumble. Uh, and yeah. then you like, every like, like hard vowel, you're like, yeah, you know? <laughs> Yes. Good job, man. And then you have John Frusciante just singing in the background. Ah, ah. I do not have a beautiful singing voice. Ooh. Ooh. Jackson with a solid dig. But you know what? I think they deserve that point. And now the score is 9 to 5. Like, I work. Actually, I work 7 to 4. What I, am I, talking I work about? 8 to 5. You work nine, lunch break. Yeah, you work 9 to 5, buddy. Let's be real. You, you know work, what? <laughs> you work 9 to 3. If his boss is listening to this, no, he doesn't. Eric. I don't know what you're doing watching Catholic volleyball, but if you are, I love my job. I would. I, I will say, us doing this is the new evangelization. Yes. Is that how you use that? I, I guess. I don't know. It, who, it, who says no? This is actively living out our faith, and I think you know. At the end of the day, that's what this league is about, and I think we can see that every day. Zachary Johnson. And it looks like the new kids on the block live to live in. A, see, you know what? It's 11 points, man. I didn't realize this is the Cobras. Game point. It is. And now we have Ochoa related, Ochoa. related to Guillermo Ochoa. And what a beautiful serve. With such strength. Ooh, and, the Cobras. Ooh. Ooh. Such we, a got, we got pass. Daniel Aguilar with a little too, too much sauce on that serve. Just a little bit. And now Gabriel Ochoa with the serve. Another serve to keep the new kids alive. And Ooh, he, it's in. It. he gets it over. Is that out? Was that in? That was in. That's it. That was in. The Cobras sweep the new kids on the block. You know what? It was a very competitive game. You know, I feel like it was a great game of the week. I, okay, so, you know, I think that each team showed so much heart, so much passion, dedication. And I, I really think that the game was closer than the final score indicates. I think both of these teams are going to move on to have great rest of their seasons in the playoffs. Oh, yes, for sure. Yeah, you know, you know uh, I feel like we should highlight some key people here. Daniel Robertson, you know, uh, very, very, you know, we saw some great serves out of him, great okay. effort on the court. Uh, so cool. Jonas Brand with like five great serves in a you row. Know, Jonas Brand with the best hair on the court. I will say that. I, I, I'm jealous. Yeah. yeah. On new kids on the block, the Debolt, the Debolts. The Debolts play the, like the Lightning. Power couple. Absolutely. Yes. We had you know great performances from every single one of these teams, and I think we cannot take any of this away from them. Oh no. And you know, I really think uh, 
this is a great game and it's gonna a great opener to our games here tonight. So please join us for the rest of the games. Ray, what are your final thoughts? My final thoughts, this is this is why volleyball is a beautiful game, and this is why we're gonna have a great day of volleyball sets for y'all. Keep watching. Keep watching. And again, my name is Rich Mad Dog Madrigal. I'm Ray Money Montalvo. And don't forget, say your prayers, eat your vitamins, and hook them horns. Hook them horns. <laughs> All right, thanks, y'all.